Hey, you know me, I know me. I am a boy with ADHD. I grew up with it, I deal with it now, and I'll deal with it for the rest of my life. What's this intro? I don't know. Uh, when I was in seventh grade, I finally sort of gotten diagnosed with ADHD. I don't know why I said sort of, I got diagnosed with ADHD slash ADD. I have not been on ADD medication for a really long time, and it's something that I'm thinking about going back on just because I have learned to cope with it a little bit better over the years, but I still have really, really bad ADD and ADHD and it's extremely hard to focus. There's the sort of joke that I can't read, which obviously I can read, um, but I figured out uh, over this last like year, maybe two years, that I'm also dyslexic, uh, which definitely didn't help in school. But the whole thing of like, oh, I, I haven't read a book since junior year of high school. And a lot of people make jokes about it, which is totally fine, but I legitimately cannot sit down and read a book. It's something that is extremely frustrating. Uh, anything over about a paragraph, I, I just have such a hard time uh, processing the information, remembering the information, um, just having the attention span to read something and not get distracted. Anyway, all of that to say, I went on Amazon and I got a pack of 30. Oh baby, 30 plus ADD toys, ha! That's the thumbnail, what I just did there. So I thought that I'd go through and look at these different things and sort of rate it from one to 10 on how good of an ADD toy there is. Let's start off with something familiar, something that you guys know. Ooh, that crinkle, that crackle. Hey, Rubik's Cube. This is actually, nope, never mind, it's shitty. Rubik's Cubes are something that I have a bunch of. Um, this one kind of sucks. Let me grab my good one. Oh yeah, let me show you the difference between a good cube and a bad cube. This is a good cube. This is what a good cube sounds like. And the way that it moves too. Nice. This is a bad cube. You can sort of hear the spring. And while it may not seem a lot different, it is, it feels drastically different. Rubik's cubes are something that I really love. I learned to do a Rubik's cube when I was probably 12 or 13, I think. And it was something that actually really helped me a lot um, in school. And I started bringing Rubik's cubes to school and during times when the teacher would be speaking and I didn't have to be writing or anything like that, I would do a Rubik's cube. It was not something that I was really aware of. It was just something that I really liked doing, but it's something that helped me focus a lot because I had something to do with my hands. And so the, all of my teachers, which a part of me gets because it's, it is, you know, marketed as a toy or whatever, but they were like, Ethan, you can't be doing that in class. It also makes a little bit of noise, so it could be distracting to some of the other kids. But none of the teachers really understood that by me doing the Rubik's Cube, I was actually able to listen way better because I had something to put my energy into. Therefore, my mind was a little bit more open. I don't know. Even right now, like I'm, I don't know how noticeable it is, but even right now, as I'm doing this, I feel like it's easier for me to actually speak and like say coherent sentences and stuff like that. Rubik's cubes are something that have really helped me a lot. I really enjoy doing them. Like it's just a fun thing to do and it was a fun thing to learn. Um, and it also sort of becomes after a while, almost like a muscle memory thing. I can't do it as well as I used to be able to do it, but it's all just algorithms and stuff like that. So doing certain moves at a certain time when the pieces are in a certain spot. So it's not something that you need to like really think about, which is why it was good for me when I needed to focus on something else. Rubik's cube. I'll give it a, give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. I love these babies. They're wonderful, but it also is, it's not something that you sort of have to pay attention to it a little bit. Like you can't be like looking at something else and doing a Rubik's cube. So, you know, this, I don't know what this is. I'm really not sure what this is. Weird ball thing. There's a hole there. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. These little balls, they turn a little bit. I don't really like this. It feels weird. I think you just push it in and replace the hole with a ball. I don't really like it because it's not smooth. It kind of, it takes a lot of pressure and force. It feels very janky. I understand why people could like this, I guess, but I don't, 
I don't really like it. I'm gonna give this a three out of 10. I don't like it. Here's a, oh. This is something different than I thought it was going to be. I thought that this was going to be one of the, is it a Chinese finger trap where you put your fingers in and you trap it? But there's a little, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little marble in there. And so you just push, push the marble around. That's kind of cool, kind of fun. It's not, I mean, it, it kind of feels nice. <laughs> this is turning into way more of a serious video than I, than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be very jokey and fun. I mean, it is a little bit, but it's actually me rating ADHD like fidget toys. I don't know. And it's small, so you could fit it in your pocket pretty easy. I don't think I would play with this though. It doesn't, doesn't do much for me. I'll give this a four out of 10 because it's better. Uh, I'll give it a five. It's better than the ball thing. All right. Next is this. Uh, huh. I don't know what this is and it makes me uncomfortable. It's just a stretchy thing. It has a little bit of glitter on it, which I hate because it gets everywhere and it sticks to everything and it sucks. And it's also really bad for the environment. Ah, uh, this is kind of fun though. <laughs> I just wish it didn't have glitter on it. There's two of them. There's a green one and a pink one. Um, it's okay. Like it's kind of fun. It's also very, it's very powdery which I don't like. I don't really like the feel of it. I wouldn't imagine this to be like a fidget toy. Like, what do you do with this? I don't know. To me, like a nice fidgety toy, this isn't feely enough for me. Like there's, it's not, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's too much. It's too much. Three out of 10. My guy, my dude, what is this? He's a tiny person. You stretch him. This isn't a fidget toy. What is this shit? I don't like it. It's just a little man. One out of 10. That one's the worst of them all. I think I found a, a worse thing. Let's make that a two out of 10 because this seems way worse. I don't even want to open this. What is this? It's like a weird bug. I don't even want to open it. It's got like gunk inside. One out of 10. Fuck that. <gasps> Whoa. Dude, they gave me the sand. You know, the like moon sand. I don't really want to take it out though because I'm afraid that it's going to get everywhere. I'm too worried about it. Hold on. I'll deal with that in a second. Okay. This has potential if I can figure out what it is. This is like a weird little thing. Push some of the pieces out. What do you do? What do you do with this? It had potential and now all the potential is gone. What is it? So you have it here, right? You can push out the orange part, but then you can't push anything else out unless that's all it is, is just pushing out the orange thing. I can understand that because you're taking the thing out and putting it back in and taking it out and it's that repetitive thing, but it's not easy enough to push in and out. Three out of 10, once again. All right, here's something that, that I might be able to get behind. Oh, baby. Oh, oh shit. You ready for this? Watch. Oh, oh, oh my god oh that's sick i love this thing it's cool too because it's got this little nub which i like it when it's when it's on the palm of my hand because then i have something solid oh my god this is so good oh and it has the little things and it just like forms around your hand so nice this is great. This is so good. Eight out of ten. Also, I'm I'm treating ten like a unicorn in the sense that like there's probably not gonna be a ten. Eight or above is like really fucking good. I'm gonna move my Rubik's cube to a nine, and I'm gonna put this at an eight and a half. Actually, I'm gonna put this at a nine as well because the Rubik if, just for different reasons. This is so good. This is so great. Oh my god, I love it. All right, let's just get all of these shitty ones out of the way. All of these, the weird bug things. They're just like squishy weird things that have like slime on them. And I really don't like them at all. So one out of 10 for those. Okay, so we have a ball version of this. So it's a sphere. You can take out the blue piece. And I think that's it. What is the point? None of these other pieces move. Am I just doing it wrong? What's the point of it? <laughs> I don't understand. Or do you have to do it? <gasps> Whoa. Do you have to do it in a certain way? <gasps> you do. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Okay, I've got I've got all these pieces, right? And now we have to put them back together. I don't know if I'll like this. It's a puzzle. Gamers, it's a puzzle. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Very interesting. It's interesting. I didn't figure out the puzzle. Four out of ten. I could see the appeal, but I don't want to do a puzzle. That's not the fidgety cube. It's not a fidgety. It's not fidgety. It's a puzzle. But this, but this is fidgety. A classic fidget spinner. Ooh. That's nice too. It's nice because it's got these little ball bearings on the outside. Fidget spinners have gone out of out of style course but it does suck because they became such a fad you know but they did really help people with adhd and like they were they definitely were helpful for me back when i when i used them a little bit it sucks that a lot of schools like ban them just because they were seen as like little toys and stuff but it it does help to just this is a classic just like fidget thing because all you're doing is this and it it does really help fidget spinner is pretty good give it an eight out of ten uh, this one's good too. It's got good bearings on it. We got another fidget spinner in here. Two of them. Same thing. Different colors. Wow. I like that sound. See, a lot of these again are not really fidget things. I'm not really sure what this is. Kind of like it though. The way that it sounds is really nice. Yeah, it's almost like cracking knuckles. But again, not really fidgety. Not really fidgety. I'm a little disappointed with this box, guys, because most of this stuff is not very fidgety. Giving this a five out of 10, it's okay. It makes a nice sound. Let's go with a six, let's do six. All right, we got this box here. I'm thinking that just because of the packaging, maybe it's a kaleidoscope, which again, would not really make sense. It's a kaleidoscope. No, it's not. <gasps> it's one of these. This isn't a fidget toy. <laughs> it's, it just looks cool. Damn, look at that. Isn't that nice? Wow. Wow. I remember these. I think I had one as a kid that had like a a little like whale in it or something. Ooh, and then at the bottom, they all drip down. Yeah. Kind of cool. Four out of ten. It's not a fidget thing. We're now coming to some of the last things. Which are these. I am not really sure what these are. It's like a keychain thing that just goes in and out and in and out. Can you play with it with one hand? Yeah, ooh. That's kind of fun too. Ooh yeah, just having it on your finger and just like kind of shaking it a little bit. That's nice. Gonna give this a seven out of 10. Eight out of 10, seven out of 10, seven and a half. We'll do seven and a half. Cause it's easy to use with one hand it's pretty good, actually. There's one more thing in here that, uh, well, not in here. I got this in addition because I wanted it and <laughs> it wasn't included in the box. It's a butterfly trainer knife. It's not an actual butterfly knife. It's a trainer. This is dull, but I used to use these babies all the time because you just flip it around all the time. And it's really fun. It's very much a fidgety thing. Very much a fidgety. Ugh, I would kill myself if it was a real knife, which is why it's not a real knife. I used to be able to do cool tricks and now not really. To be able to do like a cool like, oh, I can still kind of do it. There we go. Wow, fun time. There's somebody here in the comments that actually knows butterfly knives and is screaming at me. I know this to be true. I do have a couple more things. And by a couple more things, I think I have one more thing. And it is very good. I have two more things, three more things, two more things really. Cause this is just a fidget spinner that I have that I found in my drawer and I like it a lot. I also like it cause it's pink. Okay, I have this, which is just a spiky ball. A little spiky ball, but it feels cool in your hands. <gasps> it feels so nice. I think my mom gave this to me in my stocking at Christmas last year. This is pretty good. Seven out of 10, just because you kind of need two hands for it to be super good you know but lastly i have this which is a little fidget cube which i think one of you guys gave me at a convention actually it's got a bunch of different things on it and i'm sure a lot of you guys know about these so there's this little thing around here these go around there's a switch there's like a joystick kind of thing there's uh these buttons that have different like sensitivities almost there's this little thing which you just like twist around it's it's fun it's nice because it has a bunch of different stuff on it i imagine it would probably get annoying for the people around you but it's nice to just use eight out of ten nine out of ten nine out of ten nine out of ten anyway that's the box a little disappointed to be honest i was really hoping for more stuff not more stuff better stuff <laughs> i was hoping that like 
I don't know, I feel like all of the stuff in here just kind of sucked. The only thing that I will actually use is gonna be this. Cause it's freaking dope. But everything else kind of sucked, which is a bummer. Big, big bummer. Anyway, um, this was my review of the 32 box item thing of fidgety things for people with the brains that go, whoa, everything's happening all the time. Kind of helpful. I like it, I like it, I like it. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if any of you have ADD or ADHD and if you have little fidget toy things, things that help you, little coping mechanisms, whatever, what have you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you later. Maybe. I'll be able to read someday! What is that, like,